YouTube is we're making a quick video back again with my boy Brandon. Guys, we got a little bit of a time, guys. I'm around. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, it's it's actually today. It's kind of a good day to do a video format like this because we do uh, have like an ice storm and the the streets are bad. Uh, got got a lot of love and respect for you guys up north that can actually drive through this kind of stuff here in Texas. Uh, everything shuts down, so. We decided to try, to try out doing this this format of video, and maybe we'll be able to do some future videos, uh, maybe some discussion videos, something like that. Whenever me and Brandon uh, kind of just have some downtime and and we're not um, you know able to hang out in person, we can maybe do some videos like this. Plus, it's always easier just to kind of talk uh, at home uh, in your own environment. A little bit easier to kind of get things done. Um, but today we're going to do. Um, I will say I haven't done a video like this in a long time, and I definitely haven't done a video like this with Brandon. I don't think ever with me. I don't think we've ever done a top ten video. Um, and so, nope. uh, with me moving and all this, I just haven't had a chance to really get settled in, but now that I'm finally settled, I want to do a top 10 video. Um, and technically this is going to be a top 10 video because I'm going to do my top five winter fragrances that I've been wearing. And Brandon is going to do his top five winter fragrances that he's been wearing. We're going to start from five and go down to one and we're going to alternate that way. You guys can get a little bit of, uh, each of us and we're going to start with an honorable mention. So I will let Brandon do the honors and start this top 10 list off. All right, guys. So yes, I do have an honorable mention. I think we both have one, if I'm correct here. Um, the reason I picked this as my honorable mention is because it's discontinued. It's really difficult to find. If it was still readily available, it would probably be on my top five, uh, but it's not, unfortunately. So I decided to just make it an honorable mention. So, um, you know, this one needs no introduction. It's uh, from the House of Tom Ford, and it's Amber Absolute. Nice one. Yeah, so obviously, I mean, this one's been around for a long time. It's got a lot of lovers, but uh, really dark, deep, rich amber fragrance. Um, and, and I don't know, it just warms you up in the cold weather. It's beautiful. My honorable mention is going to be a fragrance that I actually, I think I got this fragrance from the company. I think they sent this to me. And I will say, guys, this is a, well, I don't know. This fragrance does kind of hold its value. Um because I looked online, it's still selling for just under $100. And honestly, you can get the original. Uh, so this is this is going to be a clone. But you can get the original for probably around the same price, if not a little bit more, which is kind of sad. But honestly, every time I wear this fragrance, there is quality there. I get compliments on this fragrance. Uh, I think I get more compliments on this fragrance than I do the original. So, And I haven't tried them side by side, so I, I can't tell you what, what's going on with that. Uh, but this fragrance... Uh, is uh, almondy, has some vanilla in it, uh, fresh, spicy, and powdery from the house of Al Hermain. Um, Al Hermain, this is uh, from their portfolio line. This is Royal Stallion, guys. Um, again, if you guys, this is a clone of Pegasus from Parfums de, Mar uh, de Marley. So if you guys like that fragrance and don't want to spend, you know, maybe extra 50 bucks, something like that. Because I think I saw this one for like $80, I think. It's a 75 mil. You guys can do the math, make sure. Uh, it's worth, you know, not buying the original, but honestly, I, I get noticed wearing this one all the time and uh, it's always positive feedback uh, up until recently. Um, someone complimented me at a restaurant that I was at. So, yeah, nice fragrance. It has really, really good performance. So um, that'll move us from our mentions onto our number five. So, Brandon, go ahead with your number five. All right, guys. Number five for me is, um, again, another one that's been around for a really long time. It's really popular. Um, but, it, you know, it's popular for a reason, and I love it. I actually just got this bottle uh, back in my collection. I've had it a few times in the past, and I got rid of it, and um, I finally got a bottle back, and I'm happy to have it and going to hopefully be keeping it around this time. Uh, this one's from Dior, and this is Dior Homme Intense. So, um, obviously, everyone knows about this one. Iris, chocolatey, you know, sexy vibe. Uh, this is a older version i think it's from 2013 so it's a little different than the current version i think i haven't smelled the 2020 re-release of all the diors but uh this is an older one and it, it performs really well it's really strong and it's just it's great you know one of the one of my favorites yeah it's a great one definitely uh, one of the ogs um that one kind of changed the game a little bit too honestly um yeah. and uh I do have a 2020 bottle and I will say guys, it smells really good. So we can, uh, maybe I can bring my bottle over to your house sometime. Uh, my number five fragrance is going to go to a house. It's a, um, I guess I'm not going to say it's a, uh, maybe it's a local, it's a small perfumery. Um, and I'm actually 
friends with the perfumer and he sent me over some samples. Um, actually waiting for a sample of his newest released here um, pretty quick. But I had to give some love uh, to this house because I wore this fragrance a couple of weeks ago and I was literally stopped twice in there asking me what I was wearing. And I actually helped them out and gave them the website. And I, I hope they found it and I hope they actually gave back to this company. Um, the, the name of the house is Anaxis Parfums. Um, or perfumes and the name of the nose behind these fragrances is uh, Tyreek McDaniel. So you guys check them out. But I was wearing this fragrance um, that is apple, uh, rose, leather, tobacco, and has some resins in it. Absolutely fantastic fragrance. Very, very strong. Um, I, if you guys like fragrances like Carlisle or Initio Side Effect or, or um, any of those types of fragrances, um, you're going to like this fragrance. Very heavy, very thick, very sweet. Uh, very resinous, but it is V2, and this is an extract de parfum. Um, and you guys can go to anaxisparfumes.com uh, and check this one out. You guys can find uh, samples on there as big as I think to 60 mils, 30, 60 mils, something like that. But uh, yeah, this is a fantastic fragrance. Um, and this is an early batch. I don't know if he's you know lightened up the fragrance at all, if he's watered it down at all, at all. But um, I know this this fragrance right here is a beast. So uh, number five is V2 from the House of Anaxis Perfumes. All right, my number four, guys. Um, uh, one of my favorites, again, obviously. This, again, this one needs no introduction. I feel like all mine are pretty common, people that you'd see in a lot of lists. I mean, I'm kind of basic, I guess. But uh, from the House of Guerlain, this is Spiritus Double Vanille. Oh, that's the new bottle too, huh? Yeah, so I got a new bottle version. I had an older bottle, 2020, and um, I sold a lot of my collection then, and I got this one last year. Uh, it seems to be the same formula. Uh, it's still really strong. It's like boozy, woody, vanilla. You've smelled it, so you know. But, yeah, I like it a lot. It's um, I actually do like these bottles a lot more. They have, like, a real cap and not that weird, you know, I that kid that like to put the little gold thing on it and kind of jiggled off. They actually have a real cap. It feels really nice. It just, yeah, I think it looks a lot better than the old bottle. So yeah, good one. So my number four is, and again, we didn't consult each other, which, which uh, fragrances we picked for this. So if we happen to pick some of the same ones, that's just the way it's going to be. We're not going to alternate our, our list. At least I'm letting you know, now read it. We're going to keep it as it <laughs> just keep going and uh, see if maybe we pick some of the same ones. But for my number four, uh, this fragrance is a uh, sweet, warm, spicy fragrance with cherry and vanilla. It's powdery and sweet. Uh, very, very nice fragrance. Um, wasn't a fan at first, honestly. I think I do th think Brandon owns this one or he owned it before. And I, he wore it. And I, I want to say it was one time he wore this fragrance, and I was, it really caught my attention. Then I knew that I had to have a bottle from the house of Dior. I believe it's from their private line. We have Feb Delicieuse. And uh, this fragrance is just really, really nice. This is not an official bottle. This is like one of the only decants I think I own um, from like a, an official fragrance. This does look like the original because, and honestly, that's one of the only reasons why I pull the trigger on this one because it comes with a magnetic cap like the real thing, uh, but it does have kind of a cheap paper label on here. But yeah, Feb Delis Fuse, <laughs> great fragrance, um, nice powdery, sweet, cherry vibe. Um, smells like there should be tobacco in here because it has like a, that cherry tobacco vibe to it. But there's no tobacco in this. But, yeah, so uh, really nice fragrance uh, from uh, the house of Christian Dior. So that's going to move us on to number three. All right. My number three is um, – it's an exclusive. I really enjoy it. Um, I feel like people used to talk about it a lot, and now they don't anymore. But it, probably just because it's exclusive and it's expensive. But uh, my number three from Le Labo is Plop 23. I don't know if you can see that label there. So this I, is I, Le Labo's, uh, yeah, Le Labo's London exclusive. Um, in September, you can buy all the city exclusives in any boutique. So I got this one in Dallas where we live. And um, yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, sweet. It's got some vanilla, obviously pepper. That's what poivre means in French, I believe. So it's a lot of pep, black pepper, vanilla, some woody base. It's It's like really creamy and it's like, if you take Royal Oud, it's like, which is kind of a fresher cedar type pepper smell. I think this is a, the winter version of that. It's like darker and sweeter with the vanilla. I really like this. This is something that I could wear every day in the winter time, and it really performs well and smells amazing. Very gentlemanly. All right, so my number three um, is going to be a fragrance that I've actually 
uh, liked this fragrance for quite a while. And um, I wore this fragrance with you not that long ago. I want to say that uh, you told me it smelled like very man, like gentlemanly or whatever, like old man almost. But uh, maybe you can guess in your mind which one I'm talking about. But this fragrance is, uh, has a, a, a thick, sweet honey uh, note in it. It uh, has some spicy cinnamon. It's, uh, it's also wrapped in a cloud of oud. Uh, from the house of Montal, we have honey oud, and this fragrance. Uh, got, uh, here, guys, if you guys haven't tried this fragrance, this is a winter staple. I think everyone should have this one in their winter lineup, just because um, it, it's it's to to my nose. I think you said you got a lot of patchouli. You got a lot of the patchouli and a lot of the um, the oud. I think in this one, um, and yeah, it's a little challenging. It has a little bit of a stank with it, a little bit of stankiness going on to it. But honestly, I get a lot of the oud. A little bit of patchouli and um, uh, some cinnamon, but a lot of the honey. So it just to, to, to my liking, it has like a really good mix of a lot of things that I want. And this stuff is beast mode. Um, I don't think Montal waters down their fragrances over the years. Maybe they, they have. But this one right here is just lasts for ages on your skin. Um, so you'll definitely get noticed. So you might want to go easy on the trigger uh, with this fragrance for sure. Um, but yeah, for my number three, it's going to be Honey Oud from the house of Montal. All right, so on to number two, Brandon. What you got? All right, guys. Number two is um, this is going to be our probably one and only overlap, uh, and I got Feb de Lisieux at number two. <laughs> I was waiting so, for it. Obviously, we just talked about it. It's like cherry, praline, almonds, sweet, very sexual, sexual, sexy, seductive, whatever you want to say. In my opinion. Uh, this has been on my winter list for since I got it, which is I don't know when this came out, 2000, I don't know, 15 maybe. So this has been one of the staples in my collection for years, and it, you know it's an amazing scent. So I love it. And you have a real bottle, so <laughs> I have a I have a real bottle, yes. Then now is that the the remake or whatever, or is that the original? This is I think this is the remake. I bought it. Last year, 2021. So yeah, I think when did they reformulate? 20, not reformulate or rebrand or whatever they did. 2018, I think. Yeah, I, I remember on Fragranica, they like when they changed it on Fragranica with the year next to it. I always feel like they reformulated, but that, that, that's not factual or anything. I don't know. I I just figured that that they would they wouldn't go to that trouble if it wasn't a different formula. But but hopefully it's the same. I will say uh, I had a bottle of Ombre Nui. In, back in the day, and then I had a new bottle of Ombre Nui last year, and it was definitely not as strong. Don't know if that's a maturation issue or if they did reformulate it, but that is my in my experience with this one is it's pretty it's pretty much the same uh, from what I remember. But yeah, who knows? All right, so my number two fragrance is I believe me uh, Brandon I did a video on this one last summer I think uh, one of our uh, Torchies Tacos runs uh, we did a. Uh, a video on this fragrance and uh this was i want to say this was the first one i actually tried from the house from the line and uh, i was really impressed by the quality of it because i don't hear anyone talking about this not sure because if, if it's because they're super expensive or whatnot or maybe just you're kind of hard hard to find here in the states not really sure um but this fragrance uh, has um rum honey tobacco um uh semi-sweet beeswax and some cinnamon in it from the house of penhaligans from their portraits line uh, Roaring Radcliffe, guys, and every time I wore this fragrance, which was, I wore it like maybe once a week for like three weeks in a row, um, I would get noticed, but it wasn't the best compliment. The one was like someone found me literally from like 15 feet across the room. I guess I walked in, maybe past them, but they came and found me and they came and talked to me and asked me what it was and asked me like to, to Google it because they wanted to know the name and this and that, the name of the house. And then they looked at the price. They got a little freaked out by the price, but I told them maybe, you know, you can find it cheaper online or maybe even find a decan or something online. But, yeah, this fragrance, um, the the thick honey note, this one really reminded me, uh, and I don't know, if, I don't think that you agreed with this take on it, but I do think this sort of a little bit reminded me of Gold Knight by Killian. Just super strong honey notes um, and, and just very, um, very, uh, uh, very sweet. Not as mature as the Gold Knight. This one does sort of remind me a little bit of 1821 Man Made Spirits as well. Almost a better quality version of that one. That one is like over the top with the honey. This one's more a um, little toned down, but the beeswax note is fantastic in this. Um, but yeah, and the, the bees note uh, sort of reminds me of uh, Landon Avant Garde, which is a very old fragrance. If you guys go back oh, way yeah. back, 
I did a video on that one. Super before. blast from the past. And that was like oh, yeah. one of the cheapy but goodies like 10 years ago. Yeah, and I think it's like selling for a lot now because I think they discontinued it. So, yeah. So, so my number two is going to be uh, Roaring Radcliffe from the House of Penhaligans. All right. So, number one, Brandon. Here we go. Now, I, we might have picked the same fragrance. I'm going to – maybe I'm, I'm psychic. We're going to see here. But um, go ahead. Um, I – we might have. Um, I'll just kind of. I'll just give it away what it is, and if it if it is the same, then you can just we can just go as one one here. But um, Armani Privé, my favorite fragrance of all time, is Queer Majesty. Boom. Yeah, that's it. You got the Number you got the one, big ball, fifty mil. Yeah, you got yeah, the I'll, big I'll, the big daddy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, this is a fifty mil, guys. Look at my hand. This is a little baby bottle, like compared to his. Look at this thing. Yeah, but yes, this is both. Of, I, I, I sort of had a feeling, but yeah, this is a fantastic fragrance. Go, ahead, I'll let you this talk. This is about it this is my number one fragrance of all time. If I had to have just one for the rest of my life, it would be this. Um, so it's got it's got leather. Obviously, it's in the name. It's got some dried fruits, some spices, but something about it is so unique, and it has like this. I don't even know how to describe it. It has like kind of a sparkly. Th- feel in the middle it's just i don't know it's amazing it's it's not like real stanky leather or like that it's real smooth um but you can tell that it's masculine um i don't know it's it's amazing i i wear this on a lot of times in the winter and it's just it hold and every time i smell it too i can remember when i wore it in the past it has like that really strong scent memory because it's so unique yeah, so I know about this fragrance through you because I think we did a video on it when you first got it, and it was like a like I think either you smelled it or we both smelled it at the same time. I can't remember, but I remember when I, whenever I smelled it, I was sort of on the fence. But after a while, and I think I may, might have sprayed my hand, I really did like this fragrance. And if I'm not saying this fragrance smells like it, but if you're a fan of Tuscan leather, you're gonna like this fragrance because um, this the the dried fruits note resemble. I would, I swear there's, it would be raspberry. If I had to just pick one, one berry or fruit note that this reminded me of, I would say it's probably like raspberry or like blueberries or something, something about the dried fruits really does remind me of the raspberry, but with the sweet, uh, the sweetness in the leather, this is more vanillic, I, I believe. Um, this, this just smells really, really good. And it, it sort of goes down the line of, of something like that. Um, but it really is the leather, the tobacco, um, the 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 rose isn't that prominent in this. I think maybe when I first tried it, I thought maybe it was gonna be too rosy, but no, it it really is. No. Um, uh, even the oud in this isn't that bad because I want to say there's oud and moss in the in the base. Maybe I'm not sure, but um, not that bad. Honestly, we, you really just get a lot of incense. You get the dried fruits, the tobacco, um, and vanilla, and slightly oudy, slightly rosy. But yeah, this is a fantastic fragrance, guys. And it's the expensive. Le- and the leather. Def- I, you definitely yeah. get the leather. That's that's the probably leather. the main note. The name. Yeah. I completely forgot the leather. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't. You, I if I smelled this without knowing, I wouldn't think that it had oud in it. It has like a darkness to it in the base, but I wouldn't. It doesn't come off as oudy to me. It's like a little smoky sort of, but it doesn't smell like oud. Yeah. So they just got the 50 mil bottle and I, this that's why I got it because I think that big boy somebody sold a bottle online like in one of our groups and it went like that so I was like there's no way that someone's gonna sell even a partial of the size that you have I sh- I might just just pick up what I can get and wh- I think what did you pay for yours did you get that from um, across the pond Yeah so the I, I, to my knowledge it's still a Herod ex- Herod's exclusive um, the 250 mil it used to only come in 250 mils for, since it was released to like 2021 or 2020 and I think they discontinued the size and they only make the 50 mil size now and I I do believe it's still exclusive to Herod's so I bought it from Herod's uh, back in the day this 250 mil I think I paid I had to pay a little extra because I had to have somebody ship it to me from the uk and i think it was like 700 or 650 something like that yeah and i think I that what, the 50, what does it go for now i think that I, I didn't look at the prices honestly um but i i remember what i paid for this one and i think this was the 50 mil i think it was still 375 and that was from uh where'd you say it was from harrods harrods yeah yeah 
think I, I paid for the shipping and everything. The shipping was like 30 bucks, I think. So it's just not a cheap fragrance, guys. <laughs> but if you want to exclusive and you want to stand out from the rest, you, you need to try this fragrance. And honestly, I, I don't think a lot of people know about it because I tried to split it and I didn't get any hits. Now, I, obviously, like five mil is going to be kind of expensive because you got to divide it up between 50 mil. But um, yeah, even then, I think I only maybe sold one decant out of this one. But yeah, so glad that we both had the number one uh, fragrance because it did. I mean, I was going to say maybe we saved time, but not really because we're sort of just kind of going on about this fragrance. So uh, either way, it, it you know it's pretty cool that we did pick the same one because it is a fantastic fragrance. Um, so yeah, guys. So uh, you know, hey, great top five, Brando. Uh, thanks for doing this video with me. Uh, we're gonna do some future videos. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, we're gonna try to do some discussion videos. Uh, maybe do uh, just maybe some topics about fragrance. Uh, maybe do some some kind of a podcast or something like that, just to kind of um, you know, and you, we'll come up with ideas. I was thinking the other day, I was like, maybe we can come up with a video like how how me and you first met. <laughs> Because we get that all the time. People always ask us, hey, how'd you guys become friends? And it, it definitely had to do with fragrance. So that might be a fun story to let you guys know about one day when uh, we just have time to kind of hang out with you guys. So, Brandon, uh, how are you doing? Everything good on your uh, your side of town? Yeah, we're good. It's, it's cold. Uh, obviously, you know that. But uh, it's freezing here in Texas. But, yeah, we're all good. Staying Brandon, warm inside. Brandon just celebrated his, his 38th birthday a couple of weeks ago. So you guys wish him happy birthday yeah. in the comment. Um, all right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching our video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and very exciting topics just like this. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find a first set of photos and future contest winners. And as always, till next video, you guys, take care. Thanks.